here's a lesson on New Minglewood Blues. Here's what you need to know. You need a slide on your pinky, and you need a pick. And uh, basically, I'm working off the Bob Ware part. Uh, the, the, the lick that kind of drives the song is... Okay, and then there's... Okay, and then... Okay, those are the parts. So let's start again. We got the, the slide on our pinky and we're going to the E string open and then hammer down to the D string second. So work on that. Now you have the option. You can either hammer down on that with either of these three fingers. I'm kind of doing it with the pointer. You can do it with the second, you know, I'm, I'm, you can watch Bobby to see how he's doing it, but. So hammering down on the, the D string, second fret, and then it. Okay, so. Can't pull off, then pull off on the A second. And then that right there is going to be a slide on the D string to the fifth. Then to the second. Okay, so that's the move you're working. Now, how do you get this slide working? Well, here's the deal. On your left-hand slide technique, you want to think of, of, don't just think of the slide, think of all these other fingers, and they're all muting. So I rest them all. And then the slide, you've got to find that amount of pressure. You don't want to hit it all the way, or you're going to get fret noise. So it's kind of, you press it down to where it's it's down, but it's not touching the actual frets to make that fret noise. So it's a feel thing. And you know, the way I would do it is I would work on a couple things. I'd work on this. Work on that, and then... Okay, so now um, we're through that, look. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna, uh, we're gonna bar, we're gonna, we're gonna pluck the uh, G string and D string. And this is on the seventh fret on top of the fret. When you're playing slide two, you're not playing in the middle of the fret like a bar chord, you're actually playing on the fret at the bottom of the fret. So if you're playing on, on this dot here, your slide's right here. See, work on that. Since I'm playing with a pick, all my muting is happening right here. If I was playing with my hands, I would be doing it with my, with my fingers. But I'm, this is true to form on this song. So, okay, real slow. There's one version, other version. Okay, and then the part where it goes, the break where it goes to the B. Okay, so that's a B7. And then to get that, -na 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 -na, sometimes that might be the base of the keys, but it's basically, if you go E string, five, six, seven, work into that and you can even do it on the D string seven eight nine and then I'm gonna do a E string third third fret with a little vibrato open to the E okay so then um, on the one version you got to listen to the version because on the older versions it kind of comes in with a thorn in the desert I was raised in a lion's den but uh, there's also some versions where Bobby's kind of holding this lick and singing over this lick the whole time you know and then it comes in A G 7 
in the leg. I was A7, G7, and then my B, number one occupation, is still in women from that man, okay? And then, you know, and then the set of Some of that, that may be another lesson, but you know, to, to kind of show you without the slide, just to kind of where you get that melody, if you go to the E string and you hit the E note, then you're on the 12th fret, E string. It's just gonna be 12 to 15. And then resolve on the, the B string 12. So you can play around in that uh, in this E minor pentatonic, but then you can add some slide to it once you get a little better and just kind of you know. And work some of that in, but but anyway, I hope that helps. Um, don't be afraid of the slide, you know. Uh, just try to try to you know. Be careful not pressing it down too hard, you know, find that area um, and just spend time with it. It just takes time. It's a totally feel thing. You can figure it out. Good luck.